Recently, I got to play around with a couple of Andy Cine's accessory products, the aluminum MSATA to SATA lunchbox and the ASPH01 monitor mount with cold shoe. The Andy Cine lunchbox is a surprisingly fun accessory for the Atomos Ninja 5. As you all know, I am a huge fan of the Atomos Ninja 5, so any accessory for that will catch my eye. It does require some assembly as you're required to buy your own drive to install inside of the lunchbox case. In the box, you'll find the aluminum drive case, the MSATA to SATA adapter with screws, an Allen key with M3 screws, and some sheets of silicon for heat transfer. Putting this thing together was incredibly easy. Just insert your drive into the adapter and screw down. Place a sheet of silicon over the top and insert it into the silver part of the case. Place another piece of silicon on the back of the drive, screw it down, and voila, you're done. It fits beautifully and looks really, really cool. I never got an Angel Bird drive, partially because of the extreme cost compared to normal SSD drives, but also I never really minded that they stick out from the back of the drive. I actually have an accessory that attaches to the side of the Ninja and it kind of keeps the drive nice and secure. But this is a really clean and sleek way to trick out your Ninja. Also a unique addition to the lunchbox is this tiny glow in the dark section. I assume to help you find it in the dark, but maybe you guys know more than I do. Now for this, I got a pretty cheap MSATA drive on Amazon. It was only 30 bucks. I didn't really want to take apart any of my Evo drives. I use all of the Samsung Evo drives for my Ninja. A lot of people on other tutorials took apart T5 drives, which you can certainly do, and it still creates a, a cost-effective way by comparison to the Angelbird drives. But I didn't want to risk uh, destroying any of my Evo drives, so I stuck with this one. Bear in mind, though, that this little dogfish drive was not a NAND drive, so it's not quite fast enough to keep up with the data transfer from my FX9 to the Ninja, but it was fast enough to keep up with the Sony A7S III to the Ninja in 24p. But I wouldn't recommend this particular drive for anything else. The metal of the lunchbox gets pretty hot, but it does cool down relatively quickly. The nice thing though about the lunchbox size is that it does allow for extra airflow through the back fan of the Ninja 5. Andy Cine does have a lunchbox 2 and 3 now, and 3 is particularly intriguing because it doesn't require any disassembly of a drive. The monitor mount that the fine folks at Andy Cine sent me is one of the nicest ones I've used. It fits nice and tightly to my Ninja 5 thanks to the soft rubber top and the RE locating pin. It fits perfectly into your shoe mount and it has an extremely satisfying click when repositioning it. And you can tighten it down with the supplied Allen key. It's a lot of fun to see the accessories coming from Andy Cine. As an avid Ninja 5 owner, the lunchbox was a nice addition to my kit. Massive thanks to Andy Cine for sending these over and for being ever patient as I was putting this video together. I'm very grateful to you and I'm really looking forward to trying out the newer generations of the lunchbox accessories. And thank you to you all for checking this video out and for stopping by and thank you so much to my subscribers and supporters. I'm very grateful to you all. I wish you all a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by and until the next one, get out there and be creative. We'll see you soon.